Explain why Daryl Johnson uh, meant so much to you during your Because Daryl Johnson to me was the unsung hero. Uh, the fullback position, uh, while today is, is pretty much extinct, Daryl Johnson for me was like Linus with his, without his blanket. Um, I mean, he was the unsung hero because he would go in and do all the dirty grunt work that most people would not recognize. Uh, he didn't get a lot, a lot of notoriety for it, although Moose became a household name because of who he was as a person and what he meant to our offense and, 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 and what he did on the football field. Um, he would go in and uproot linebackers and had to go up against guys sometimes that outweighed him by 10, 15, 20 pounds. And that's not an easy task to do. And you took my head on collisions and all those kind of things. That happened quite a bit for Daryl Johnston. I knew what he went through. And, and I know that it, was, it wasn't an easy task. So when he got one or two carries, I wasn't happy about it, but when he got one or two carries, so be it. Let it get his one or two carries. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so that's what they pay me for, Daryl, to run the football. <laughs> he understood that, but we would joke about it all the time. Um, he would tell you right now, I probably got mad when he carried the ball at least one time. He, he's like, why you get mad? You're getting 29 carries. He, he pretty much right. <laughs> why should I? But, uh, but he, he made personal sacrifices. And, and, I, and I think the same way for a lot of players. Um, guys like Troy and myself and Michael and others, we get a lot of attention. We get a lot of attention. And, and I'm not going to say rightfully so, but we play in some of the marquee positions. And uh, guys like Daryl Johnston and, and many others, offensive linemen, don't always get their just due in terms of respect from the world.